Hey there guys, Mr. Chinooki Suit, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening DX. I like how I took a very quiet tone for the DX, it was very serious. DX sounds serious, it sounds like you're getting to some serious shit when you- Oop, excuse my language, put a DX at the end. Anyway, uh, what did we do in the last episode? Golly, it's... it's been so long. Ah, fish! Bane of my existence. Get out of here. Okay. Woo! Alright. So, when we got to Animal Village, we discovered it was a quaint, cozy, adorable, fun little place. But we also found out that there is a giant pedophile walrus who is blocking our path. And unless he gets what he wants, which is a little girl, he's not going to let us continue. So, what I have to do is use Link's um, highly developed uh, social skills and persuade a innocent, unknowing girl to come and be bait for a giant hungry walrus. And uh, it's not going to shame Link in the least. So we'll make our way over here after I f fumbled with the controls. How embarrassing. Rupees! Do you like my fake excitement? Is it pretty transparent? Rupees! Oh. I'm gonna be quiet for this part, because it's... It's very nice. Where do trees come from? I can see where this is going. This is a prime example of why Link is a complete asshole. Just, just wait. This girl's spilling her heart out. Hey, are you listening, Link? Are you listening to me? Yeah. A walrus wants me to go to him? It doesn't matter. I'll go with you. I love how Link... Ho oh, ho! My goodness! Put the girl down, you psycho. Okay. Alright. I caught my breath. I'm ready. The music's gone. But let's not go there just yet. Let's prolong the experience and get a secret seashell that I... Well, I, I didn't get before because I couldn't. Because... I didn't have the Pegasus boots. But yeah, I love how Link isn't even listening. He just says, hey, uh, your dreams and aspirations and and all that singing and crap, um, that, that's cool and all, but I kind of need you to like move a giant walrus. Um, could we maybe, you know, talk about this later or something? Um, yeah. So equip the rock's feather, like I said, finally, and uh, make your way across and see this suspicious little tree ostracized in the center. Well, we're gonna give him a beating. Run into him. Ta-da! It's a new secret seashell. Hooray! Yay. Okay. Um, I meant yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I always have trouble uh, with the keys because they replace and it's a different item and then you have to toggle it. It's just a pain in the ass. Okay, so now we are going to head back to Animal Village. And I'm getting some hearts here. Why not? Why not? Oh, the journey. So tiring. But so rewarding. So I really think I'm getting a hold of the whole map here. Really hold. Does that make sense what I just said? I'm really getting a hold. I'm really getting the hang of, I believe is what I meant to say, the map. Uh, up there, that bomb of wall, I think I've addressed this in an earlier episode, but it has a fairy in there. Alright, make our way down. Nope, oh, wrong way. Die! I'm 
Man, I haven't put up a Link's Awakening video in what seems to be months. I mean, although it's it's not, it just seems to be that way. Seems to be. Clip that crap. Get out of my way, fish. These fish are annoying because I just want to sprint past, you know? I just want to make a quick deal of this, and I keep on hitting their fin, and then they jump out and hit me again. It's like, really? Are you that greedy? Okay. Head down to the village of savagery. Oh, these boots. I just sprint so quickly. And I love how Marion's able to catch up. Or at least, you know, stay pace with me. That's that's beautiful. Yes, it's that lazy Wallace. Shall I give him a little surprise? Oh. I oh. Alright. I Okay, well, it seems to be getting his attention. Who doesn't die of a stroke? What the hell is... Oh my god! This chick is evil. Oh, he's calling me. It's the same as always. I'm going to the animal village. Please drop by, okay? What is Marion doing hanging out with a bunch of rabbits? I'm gonna end that there. Okay, wrong way. So, we've got enough time. Let's do this. Let's head to the desert. I remember I said a couple episodes ago I'd head to the desert and I had a bunch of crap I had to do, and I never went. But today is the day, folks. Ah! You know why T.E. Lawrence likes the desert? tell you folks, because it's clean. That's why. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I mean, wh seriously, what's up with the dudes from Mario? Again. It's like they forgot they were making a Zelda game. Head through here... Uh... Yeah, that's what I got. Nothing exciting. Uh... You're dead. Okay. What? Oh, that sounds suspicious, doesn't it, folks? Okay, well, let's bomb the hell out of it. Ta-da! Yes, it's another heart piece! Yay! Only one more heart piece until we have another heart. Let's just check these walls. I can't honestly remember if there's another secret in here. Doot doot. Uh, blah 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 blah. I think that's it. Okay. Head back out. Get out of my face. Oh, perfect. <laughs> How lucky am I? Okay, cool. Because it's mini um, boss time. Yay! But why the heck would there be a mini boss? A mini boss! A mini boss, excuse my French. Well, the reason there's a mini boss is because. Ta-da! You get the angler's key, and it doesn't matter, you drop down. I could have done this earlier, just, well, rather I, later, I mean, uh, killed him, then dropped down, got the heart piece, but, you know, I want this to feel exciting, unexpected, and uh, I definitely don't want to touch cactuses, that's for sure. Alright, uh, where to? Heart first. Of course. Uh, let's head down here. Oh my. Uh oh, looks like we're supposed to go to the mountains. Alright folks, that's all the time we have for this episode, but remember to tune in next time for the continuing saga of Let's Play Link's Awakening.